Hi, I am a tutor in Applus. Today we are going to discuss about introduction to DSP part one. Yeah, the example of a practically inexpensive DSP system is shown here. Uh, it takes a um, record player, stereo amplifier, tape deck, and radio as analog continuous time signal. Then through the sound card and the uh, converts uh, the eight. Uh, analog signal to digital signal to get discrete digital discrete time signal. Then through a, a cool edit uh, waveform editor uh, with, with multi-channel serial signals, we get uh, 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 we edit the waveform. Then uh, through a DSP processor, it gets uh, the digital signal processing is done. And where uh, the noise regression, digital filtering, or uh, signal compression like MP3, JPEG, MPEG images, etc., or spectral analysis like FFT are done. Then it is passed on to the sound card to get the input output in the um, uh, speaker or in a CD player. And all the uh, aspects of the sound card uh, to um, correlate to the ESP happens in a Pentium computer. Next example is the electronic tax uh, via portable document format. Uh, we have a digital scanned copy, multiple copies are put as input to the DSP, uh, with, which has a L LZW lossless compression almost 10 is to 1. And it concatenates in uh, Adobe uh, Acrobat PDF format and through via email uh, in, through internet. It goes to the other end where you got the mail uh, in the adapt uh, provide format of the information. The big picture of the DSP, we have a continuous uh, signal which is shown in A with um, uh, X axis as continuous time variable T and uh, um, Y axis as the um, uh, amplitude. And B shows the discrete time. Um, signal with this time index n in the x-axis and amplitude in y-axis. And it is passed through the input-output channels. Uh, um, a basic functional block of a real-time DSP system and uh, results are obtained and it's a real-time algorithm and it is passed. The sampling signal is a very important first step. Uh, the input-output uh, input is passed through the the analog input x dash t is both an amplifier to amplify it to get x of t, then anti aliasing filter and analog to digital converter to get digital signal. Other uh, digital systems are added to it through the DSP processor hardware, and then output of the DSP hardware, the other DS, uh, uh, digital systems are bought um, uh, on separately and uh, the discrete uh, digitized signal is passed through a DAC to get Y dash of T, uh, then to a reconstruction with Y of T and amplify to get the results in the analog form. Why DSP hardware? Uh, we, uh, we compare ASIC, DBB, microprocessor, and DSP chips. Uh, if you take chip count, it is one uh, for ASIC, DBB greater than one, microprocessor one, DSP chip one plus T. None in ASIC, limited in DBP and programmable in microprocessor and DSP chips. Design time is long uh, in ASIC, medium in DBP, short in um, microprocessor and DSP chip. Power consumption is low in uh, ASIC, uh, medium high in DBP, medium in microprocessor, low medium in DSP chips. Processing speed is high uh, in ASIC, DBP is high low medium in microprocessor and medium I in DSP chip. Reliability is I in ASIC, low medium in DBB, I in UP and um, DSP chip. Uh, development cost is I in ASIC, medium uh, in DBB, low in microprocessor and low in DSP chip. Production cost is low in ASIC, I in DBB, low medium in microprocessor and DSP chips. Why DSP process? Use a digital signal processor when the following are quite cost saving, smaller size, lower power consumption, processing of many high frequency signals in real time. Use a general purpose processor when the following are required large memory, advanced operating system. 
real time signal uh, process, digital signal processing. So you have uh, between a sample n and n plus one, we have a uh, major time is processing time and there's a waiting time. Uh, the, uh, where n and n plus one are the sample numbers. Processing many may involve many past samples in addition to the current sample. An application can be set to be real time when waiting time is greater than zero. Multiply, add, accumulate, MAC. Typical DSP algorithms involve many multiply, add, accumulate, MAC operations, also called sum of product, SOP. Uh, algorithm finite impulse responsibility y of n is equal to uh, product of uh, product of k is equal to zero to m of b k into x n x n i of k. Uh, infinite impulse response filter um, y of n is equal to product of k is equal to zero to m of b k into x i n of k plus uh, product of k is equal to one to n of a k to y n uh, y n i of k. Convolution y of n is equal to product of k is equal to 0 to n i minus 1 of x of k into h i n i minus 1 of k. Discrete Fourier transform x of k is equal to product of k n is equal to 0 to n of i minus 1 into x of n into exponential f of i uh, uh, k 2 power p by 4 by n into n of k. Multiply and add, add one plus two is added like zero, 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 one, zero, 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 one, zero. So you get zero, zero, one, one. Multiply, we have um, pi into three is equal to 15. We have zero, one, zero, one as, um, uh, um, and zero, zero, one, one. First we multiply the um, uh, lowermost term, um, uh, LSB, we get 0, 0, 1, 1, then we get 0, 0, 0, then we get 0, 0, 1, 1, uh, 0, 0, 0, and the output by adding all of them. Most of the operations in DSP, A is equal to BC, B star C plus T, or E is equal to F star C plus A, multiply, add, accumulate, back instruction. Back operation, typically 70 clock cycles with ordinary process, typically one clock cycle with digital signal process. Hardware versus micro code multiplication. DSP processor optimized to perform multiplication and addition operations. Multiplication and addition are normally done in hardware in a single cycle. Example, a four bit multiplication and sign 1011 into 1110 is done as 1001101110 by the hardware. In micro code, uh, for a first cycle, it is zero, second cycle, 1011. Uh, Third cycle is 1011, fourth cycle is 1011, fifth cycle we get the output 1001010. Drop in multiplication time with the multiplication time uh, has been consistently dropping from the year 1971 till date, and it is less than five nanoseconds by the year 1998. Why digital signal processing? So we have the uh, we take the analog input, pass to the ADC processes, and then uh, pass to the DAC to get the analog output. Advantages, programmability, stability, repeatability, and special applications are possible. DSP development, add uh, uh, assembler, high-level language emulator, uh, tools of the trades are put in the, along with the DSP in a, uh, in a system, and we do uh, software design, code, uh, tested, if it is okay, then the product comes out, or if it is not okay, we, we, say, um, uh, we repeat the process. Programmability, one hardware, many tasks. So we can take software one to n, same hardware, then no possibility, music synthesis, motor control, everything can be done. Uh, upgradability and flexibility, develop new code, upgrade, analog, uh, solve a new component, uh, so everything is possible, which is programmable. Analog variability, analog circuits are affected by temperature, aging, tolerance of components, uh, uh, two analog systems using the same design and components may differ in performance. One uh, K um, after 10 years becomes 1.1 K as shown in the figure. 
digital repeatable re repeatability perfect reproducibility possible with uh, a digit a digital signals nearly identical performance from unit to unit performance not affected by tolerance no drift in performance due to temperature or aging guaranteed accuracy a cd player always plays the same music uh, quality performance some special functions are best implemented digitally for example lossless compression like adaptive filters linear phase uh, filters uh, a graph is shown for adaptive filter where the frequency is in the uh, x axis and gain is in the uh, y axis uh, a linear phase filter is shown where um, frequency f1 f2 um, and uh, that amplitude uh, phase uh, in the y axis Practical DSP systems, hi-fi equipment, toys, video phones, modems, phone systems, 3D graphics, image processing, uh, and more. Analog advantages, low cost and simplicity in some applications like native amplifiers, simple filters, wide band, bandwidth, low signals, uh, signal levels, infinite, uh, effective, uh, sampling rate, infinite resolution in frequency, no aliasing reconstruction issues, infinite resolution in amplitude, no quantization noise. Digital signal processing uh, advantages, repeatability, low sensitivity to component tolerances, low sensitivity to temperature changes, low sensitivity to aging effects, uh, nearly identical performance from unit to unit, match the circuit cost plus high noise uh, immunity. In many applications, DSP offers higher performance and lower cost CD plays versus uh, phonographic tunable. Analogs plays in DSP. Most transducers are analog by nature, microphones, speakers, etc. Analog circuits are required to pre process low level signals before the ADC. Analog filters may be required to limit the bandwidth of signal, anti aliasing before the ADC, and reconstruction filters after the ADC. Analog circuits may be required to drive. Output transducer, a power amplifier is required to enable a DSP to drive a speaker. DSP architectures, one human architecture, a single memory, um, uh, CPU as address bus and data bus goes to the memory and data uh, and instructions are stored in the memory. Hardware architecture, dual memory. Um, on one side, we have program address line and uh, program uh, address bus and program database and program memory instructions only is stored there. On the other side, we have data memory where data memory address bus and data memory database are there. And super outward dual memory instruction cache IO controller um, is, is the next architecture where we have the CPU with the instruction cache. Uh, it, uh, it, it goes to the first memory where program memory uh, with the instructions and uh, secondary data uh, PM, uh, through PM address bus and uh, uh, program memory data bus. On the other side, data memory address bus and data memory uh, data bus, uh, we get the data, data only, and which in turn is connected to IO controller and which also fetches data from the IO controller. DSP architecture, we have the program memory uh, with program address bus and program database, uh, program address generator and data memory and data uh, address bus and data uh, memory database. Um, uh, both come uh, interact through the program sequencer instruction cache and, um, with program data address generator and uh, data memory address data generator and it goes um, uh, the typical process consists of a data register multiplier ALU and uh, shifter data memory is also connected to IO controller typically through a, a direct memory access and uh, I serial IO serial parallel AD, uh, through serial parallel EDC DAC etc are connected to the IO uh, I DSP uh, architecture. Um, we use the uh, instruction cache here in addition to what we have seen in the uh, last, uh, this one. Otherwise, this also a R-word architecture. Um, uh, 
unlock the uh, devices ADSP 2 and 8 when and this is a processing architecture. It has got a program memory pass, data memory address, program memory data, data memory data, and through a multiplexer, it is connected to the uh, full memory mode, external address pass, external database by, by DMA controller, or through external database and internal DMA port, host uh, mode, uh, or full memory mode. And it has a timer connected to database, serial ports connected to data memory, uh, data, data, memory data. Um, automatic units are connected to data, uh, ALU match shifters, and uh, which in turn connected to program memory data and uh, to the program sequencer and uh, uh, programmable IO player and flags, uh, data memory program memory of the 8K by 24 bit and 8K by 16 bit program power down control and uh, data address generator DAG1 and DAG2 connected to uh, program memory address and data memory address. Application versus target market. Uh, we have the consumer market, speech processing, audio processing, displacement processing, media processing. Media processing, we also have enterprise version where ADSP21 XX is used for speech processing, Shark is used for audio processing, Blackfin is used for media processing, and Tiger Shark is used for the enterprise version. What is digital signal processing? Signaling, analog and digital, operation and transformation of the processing, and signal out is analog and digital. Examples of signals, analog speech, music, photos, videos, radar, sonars, discrete time, and domain, and digital, digital speech, digital music, digital images, digital videos, digital radar, digital sonar signals. Stock market data, daily, max temperature data. What is signal processing? Digitalian. Digital processing operation transformation performed on digital signals using a computer or other special purpose uh, digital hardware and digital signal out. But what about analog signal? Analog signal in, analog to digital conver conversion, conversion, digital signal processing, digital to analog conversion and analog signal out. Signal processing example, a voice is uh, heard by a, um, Year and, uh, and it becomes louder through, yeah, through the brain operation. The same is taken um, through a microphone after uh, passed through a AD supernova to digital signal and the DSP uh, uh, by for the conversion to digital signal and then digital output has come, then passed through the uh, DAC to get the analog output. Why digital goes digital? Uh, we already know the advantages of digital signals, so we go for digital. Uh, here, the digital computer is a typical DSP processor. Typical scenario, we speak, and then it goes to the A2D converter, becomes a digital signal, and this will process the digital signal, and then D2A converts, and then uh, here, year shape, um, year C, and Analog uh, signal. signal. Step one analog uh, sensor picking, analog signal, microphone picking, the sound. Step two analog to digital converter. Step three DSP processes, the digital signal, example compression, noise compression, etc. Then step four digital analog converter to recover the analog signal. What is real time digital signal processing? Digital signal in. Real time digital signal processing, uh, time constraint operation or transformation performance on digital signal within a required period of time to maintain synchronization occurring events and digital signal out. Example processor clock at 120 megahertz can perform 120 MIPS, sampling rate 48 kilohertz, digital audio tape DAT, number of instructions per sample is 120 into 10 to 6 divided by 48 into 10 to 3. Is equal to 2,900. Sampling rate is equal to 8 kilohertz. Voice band telephony number of instructions per sample is equal to 15,000. Sampling rate at 75 megahertz. CAF 360x 
288 video at 30 frames per second number of instructions per sample 1.6. Real time business in processing constraints, real time PSP application limited to case where the request sampling rate is sufficiently lower than the process instruction rate. Challenges produce working code, produce a sufficiently compact code to execute in real time, a sufficient number of instructions needed to be performed within the sample periods. What is DSP? Distance signal processing or distance signal process? DSP is used to denote both meaning can be deduced from the context in which the term DSP is used. What is a distance signal process? Micro process specially designed to perform DSP operation. Example, phosphorus transform, inner products multiply and accumulate. Why go digital? Programmability, one order can perform several tasks, upgradability and flexibility, repeatability, Identical performance from unit to unit, no drift in performance due to temperature or aging. Immune to noise, offer high performance CD players versus phonographic turnover. Turntable. Signal processing applications, speech processing, speech compression, speech recognition, speech identification, verification, speech synthesis, speech enhancement, echo cancellation, audio processing, compression, 3D production. Image processing, image compression, pattern recognition, boost cancellation, noise reduction, deep blurring, object tracking, image fusion, video processing, compression tracking. The uh, modem uh, in communications, uh, modems, correlators, mass filters, echo cancellers, equalizers, cellular telephony, speech compression, diversity com uh, combining, array processing, and software radio. DSP uh, targets, uh, pager is an uh, you know, applica application of this. We have the RFP receiver, uh, which receives the signal and then ADC converts, and then it goes to the microcontroller chip and pager protocol decoder. And uh, after that, it goes to the DS pager protocol decoder, goes to the DSP chip, and it takes input from the pager controller decoder and microcontroller controller chip, and pager peripherals are connected and to that, and uh, the output comes through the uh, DAC. Flux is a popular pressure protocol by Motorola. Spectrum decoding, um, compression, and speech processing is done in the DSP chip. Then it comes to the, the, the uh, district analog converter to give the analog um, sound output or speech output. DSP targets, cell phone. Uh, RF receiver, RF product, then microprocessor chip and uh, cell peripherals are used. In, uh, mostly all the peripherals are controlled by microprocessor and the DSP, it inputs the DSP, DSP takes it and through the white product it comes, uh, speech product, coders, speech recognition, equalizer, and uh, translation and image enhancement techniques are done in the DSP processor. And finally, we get the output in the in your um, platform. DSP is a processor and a typical cell phone block diagram. We have the analog baseband by microphone microprocessor, speech amplifier, speaker amplifier, voice product DSP, and RF product is created. And then it goes to the RF modulator, RF section, uh, which receives the antenna, which has the antenna connected to it. Then from the DSP, it comes to the DA control keyboard, just the home control, um, um, where a supply would get supervised, LDO signals uh, direct section, LDO, uh, LDO analog section, and EMOS switches and LDO RF sections are uh, available. And we have a signal conditioning um, interface, IRDA interface, and battery temperature monitor, and a PA control and where the batteries and good power management, integrated power supplies. Voice over IP, we have the peripherals, which includes uh, a keyboard or a digital display or a um, LCD display or a headphone. It goes to the microprocessor, which controls the peripheral and the other side, it takes the information. Uh, and in, uh, it has a memory card uh, chip and uh, connect interface to the chip and then 
it goes to the voice, voice codec where audio encoder like MP3, ACP, ACL, and then it comes on uh, to the peripherals, uh, either to LCD display or to an earphone. Yes, we are much portable media devices. Okay, it's a, a complicated um, um, this one. Uh, the details of uh, the previous one are shown here. We have the mic in, zero audio in, LAN, L and R, FM radio, I, uh, IC, uh, L and M. Serial audio product is then the touchscreen controller, it gives the touchscreen controller, speaker. Stereo headphone, uh, stereo uh, audio line output. Then uh, the touch screen goes to the touch screen controller, LCD interface, here, and uh, which also has interface from the processor and DSP, keypad, uh, IR remote control, RTC, and uh, LED backlight is there. Uh, video in it goes to the video decoder. And uh, lens, uh, CMOS, uh, CCD, CMOS sensor, uh, digital camera, front end, signal camera, go all the things. Uh, uh, then HDD buffer, uh, then compact um, flash adapter, flash memory, and SD RAM. All these things are interfaced to the CPU. And then out, um, we have the primary supply LDU, uh, LED backlight. Backlight supply DC DC boost, uh, boost converter, LCD supply DC DC boost converter, DSP CPU for supply DC DC buck converter, IO supply LDO, supply voltage uh, supervisor, integrated power management, battery power management. And then in the output, uh, it goes to the LCD and through keypad is, uh, comes as an input. MP, uh, MPU, the MPU it goes to the is another uh, input to the processor and the video buffer, uh, RS protected, RS protected, USB, SD, MMC, MS interface, JTAG. Um, we can do audio coding, speech recognition, image compression, image enhancement. Um, blue one is a processor, pink one is interface, is green one is the amplifier, logic, first one in pink. Are shown in uh, uh, light brown, power are shown in lighter brown, ADCD, AC, sort of differentiated in different color, and others are shown in other colors. DSP targets voice over IP. We have the PC USB. Through USB, it connects to the DSP, which consists of MP3, AC, AC3, or AC algorithm. Pi band digital equalizer is also there. And it takes a uh, MMC compact flash, onboard flash, uh, spinning media, and uh, it is uh, managed by batteries and DC DC converter and voltage regulator. And uh, the, it goes to the stereo ADC DAC um, to which a microphone is connected and a phone amplifier also is connected. And uh, keyboard and LCDs are also connected with DSP. DSP market, uh, total 2004 revenue millions. Okay, Texas instrument, Fiscal semiconductor, analog devices, Philips semiconductors, uh, KRA systems, um, Toshiba, DSP uh, group, and EO uh, Electronics are the major players, and their revenues are shown in millions, millions of rupees. Typically consists of 4,000 million by Texas Instruments and so on. The ranking Texas Instruments is in the top, physical semiconductors is next, and rather the third, physical semiconductors is fourth, Agaris is fifth, Postwa is sixth, and ASP group is seventh, and the NEC electronics loss. Referred to the business information through this web link. This we market by company. Uh, total uh, 7,133 million uh, market. Texas Instrument 54.32%, free scale 14.8%, and all the 7.99% clip, 7.447%, Agare 7.28%, for market share. In 2003, it is 
stored, then back operation is done, fetch the two memory location pointed by Alpha and Normal, and play them together and add the result to A, the final result is stored in back in A. So, so that is such is the power of the multiplier and accumulate operation, uh, which is a speciality in the SP process. Multiplier design, early atoms, AMA released uh, S2801 in 1978, math was never used in, a, in end product problem in fabricated assembly until 2920 in 1979. ADC and DAC embedded hardware architecture available there uh, at a single no multiplier. In the early 1980s, single chip DSV with good performance started to appear with Mac, and ever since multiplication times decreased. First commercially successful DSV1 in 1988 from ATT and Laboratories who use mainly of Windows design. And TA, first commercially successful DSP, DMS 32010 operating at 5 MHz, 200 nanoseconds in 1992, sold for $120 per other pieces. So, uh, uh, year only, the time has decreased from 1971 to 98, 98 from a uh, terrible 600 nanosecond for multiplication to 5 nanosecond around 1988, the reference is given by from which this uh, information is taken. TPP drawbacks, general purpose process drawbacks, more instruction tasks, common memory for data and program, limited bus, memory bandwidth solution, we have to go for the ESP architectures. TPP data path only, it has a memory data bus, memory, register one, register two, VLU, and same memory for program and data. DSP signal problem, data path only, program, memory bus, memory data bus, and data memory data bus, program memory, data memory, uh, multiplexer one, multiplexer two, uh, ALU accumulator, a DSP chip is a microprocessor specially designed for this application, R order architecture allow multiple memory reads, Architecture optimized to provide rapid processing of discrete time signals, multiply and accumulate in one cycle. Memory uh, structures, ALU, IO, database, address bus, instruction and data, ALU and IO, instruction and data, non human architecture, area efficient, but requires high best bandwidth because instructions and data must com compete for memory. Our road architecture was kind to describe machines with separate memories, speed up. Speed efficient increased parallelism. DSP versus GPP, uh, digital signal processor versus general purpose processor, multi channel parallel units, multiplayer accumulate, possibly several units, address calculation in parallel processing, parallel, sh parallel shifter, memory access, special ALU for address calculation, bit reverse addressing, circular processing, automatic loops, software looping. Writing assembly code to perform branching, hardware looking, dedicated hardware loop, counter register, hardware support for managing automatic computation. In GPP, it needs multiple cycles, shifters, board bits, and saturation, preventing overflow. Thank you.